Hello, everyone. This is Derek. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yes. All right. Great. I'm going to turn it over to Coach and let him uh, make a comment based on uh, coming off of the weekend. I'll remind you, since this is an open line, if you're somewhere outside or somewhere there is noise getting picked up, please mute your line if you could. And when we get to questions, please uh, start off by identifying yourself so Coach knows who the question is coming from. I'm going to turn it over to him now. Hello, everybody. Um, coming off of um, really a, 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 a good week. Uh, you know, it was good. We had Thanksgiving, and uh, we had a couple contests against uh, teams that I think made us better, uh, especially on Friday. Uh, North Carolina Central is a very, very good basketball team that um, I think that um, would not be surprised if they're in postseason play. Uh, and um, they stressed us. Uh, there's no question about that. And and uh, being down at half was good for us. It was it was an opportunity to face uh, a little adversity in the locker room at halftime. And and uh, um, and and again, they I thought that uh, they outplayed us. They outfought us, and that was something that uh, uh, we obviously weren't very pleased about. But. Uh, uh, that being said, I thought uh, you know, we got uh, great leadership from Tijan. I thought uh, Michael Finke was was tremendous. He's playing uh, at a very very high clip. Um, obviously, Aaron Jordan is uh, is instrumental, and and it forced us to have to execute. And and I thought we did some really good things late. Uh, we were about 1.25 points per possession uh, versus the zone in the second half, and and. Uh, uh, and, and, and that's good. We'll take those numbers uh, every single night. But uh, um, uh, obviously getting ready for Wake, uh, the ACC Big Ten Challenge, uh, a team that was an NCAA tournament team last year, a team that is uh, uh, driven by their guards. Uh, and I say that, and they've got a uh, Darrell Moore at 7'1", 280 in the middle, who's a, who's a problem. But uh, this is a very, very good three-point shooting team. They're one of the best shooting teams in the country. Uh, they do it uh, from multiple spots, and uh, we're going to have to be very, very good in terms of our um, uh, our closeouts, our high hands, our activity. And uh, Danny does a tremendous job in, in building that uh, the last three years, and uh, he's he's been a friend for a long time, and and uh, got a lot of respect for the job he does. And um, this is a very good basketball team, a team that's much better than their record. Um, they're they're playing. Um, a lot better now than they did in the first few games. So uh, we're going to get a weight team that's very good, very hungry, and, and uh, very, very experienced. Okay, let's go ahead and take questions. Brad, this is Scott Beatty from WDWS. Your bench has received a lot of praise. How would you assess the bench play so far? Uh, it's something that we work very, very hard on here. Um, I think that, uh, um, you know, I've been very, very pleased with what uh, – uh, obviously, Aaron, uh, Kipper get a lot of the attention uh, in terms of their productivity, but uh, equally so, DeMonte Williams, uh, Trip Frazier, uh, those guys have been uh, equally as important. Their numbers don't, uh, don't show that, but, uh, you know, we try to play nine or ten guys, and um, uh, having uh, an impact off the bench and having productivity, and, and in a lot of cases, uh, better productivity, uh, coming from our bench than than what we've had um, uh, in the starting lineup at times. So uh, that's something we strive for. We work very hard for that, and and uh, we we try to uh, keep those guys confident and 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 playing. And uh, uh, Aaron and and Kipper in particular, uh, their productivity over 40 minutes is off the chart, and and yet they're only playing uh, uh, you know half the game, so to speak. So um, we feel very good about what our bench has brought to us at this point. Do you like it then that they are doing that productivity from the bench as opposed to the starting lineup? Yeah, and I think they're comfortable with it. I think they get to see the game unfold a little bit. Uh, I like it when we put guys in who, who can impact the game, not just with effort, but with, with productivity on the glass, with productivity scoring. And, uh, you know, now it's now you've got fresh bodies in there. And uh, Trent Frazier's had moments where he's been uh, extremely productive offensively and uh, and so, you know, we're, we're coming in with firepower, so to speak, and, and, and I like that. And uh, uh, our guys are, are, are bought into that. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that continues to be a, 
uh, a big bright spot for us. Brad, this is Mark hey, Tupper. Um, you were uh, you haven't been on the road yet, and yet I think back to that Eastern game and um, your decision to play that in Charleston. That has to have had some value, even though it wasn't fifteen thousand people. It was a bunch of people barking at your kids, and and at least gave them a little taste of it. Do you feel that way? Oh, absolutely. That's why we did it. And to be very honest, I, you know, we we need to create that atmosphere. We we also had a you know a scrimmage at Vanderbilt, which. Uh, um, prepared us at least for what it's like. We stayed the night, and uh, uh, so our players got a little taste of the travel and and what our routine is because it's new. And uh, uh, so it um, you know it's not it's not Wake Forest, but it's been uh, we've we've been through it a little bit, and and now we've we've got uh, we won't have fourteen thousand people in Orange there. Uh, cheering us for every play, and we're going to have to learn to grow through that and, and deal with that, and uh, we'll do that against a, a, an opponent who's, who's a quality opponent. Hey, Brad, that's Scott Ritchie. I mean, Friday against NC Central, maybe you know, the freshmen had uh, maybe a freshman game. It wasn't maybe their best. How have they responded in the, the practices since? Well, they've been very good. I, I, I love the fact that DeMonte was – um, I, I did not allow anybody in the gym on Saturday, and uh, uh, they had they had to stay away. Uh, just we've had a we've had a a lot of games very quickly and a lot of one day preps. So I thought the mental rest was very good. Uh, we had a very good practice yesterday on on Sunday, and and uh, uh, you know Demonte Williams was chomping at the bit, uh, you know trying to get in here to, to to watch film and to to get shots up and. Uh, as all of our guys were. Mark Smith uh, was in here bright and early this morning, and um, you know I, that's what I love about this basketball team. That's what I love about those freshmen is is their their culture of of work and their desire not to just be good but to be great. And uh, uh, they know they weren't right, and uh, you know it was uh, it was a learning moment that we we escaped because we won. Uh, but uh, you know down the road here we're not gonna we're not gonna win games. Uh, if we're not dialed in and focused. Brad, Coach, Brad, this, is Derek Coach this is Derek Piper. Uh, I know you weren't happy with the rebounding effort uh, the other night against NC Central. You, you brought up Mark Smith. Is he maybe one of the guys that you need more from in that area? Yeah, he's averaging two rebounds a game. And he's very, very capable of being a, a five to six rebound a game guy, and we see that in practice. And um, you know, Mark's a really, really good player, and he's had an unbelievable start to his freshman year. Um, and yet, you know, Mark's uh, Mark's very conscientious, and he wants to be a great teammate. And and when you have Mark's talent, I'm not ever going to be satisfied with just him scoring points or getting to the free throw line or doing this. There's there's other aspects of the game I want him to be uh, to excel at, and uh, that's one thing that he can do. He he's, he's had dominant days in practice. Yesterday happened to be one of them, and uh, uh, you know it's just a it's a mindset. It's a it's something that we need from him, and and uh, uh, he's very very capable. And and Mark Allstork's the other one, and you know we're getting. After Mark's initial game, uh, you know, of having 10 rebounds, he's he's quit going. And, you know, he's averaging four, which is a good number for a guard, but uh, you take that first game out of there, and it's about two as well. So those are two guys on the wing that we need we need consistent rebound effort from. And, uh, uh, you know, Aaron Jordan's getting five in 17 minutes. So, uh, you know, there's a reason his minutes may go up, and, and a lot of it ha doesn't have anything to do with his shooting. It has to do with his rebounding. Coach Scott Beatty again from DWS. Uh, whether it's a step up in competition or not to face Wake Forest and the ACC, do you address at all with your guys the label of playing a Power 5 team in your first road trip as well? Not really. I mean, we, we try to we – try, Scott, we try to be what we call everyday guys and not worry too much about the name on the front um, of the jersey. And go out and do our do our deal. Whether it was uh, uh, 
you know, North Carolina Central or, or DePaul or Wake Forest. It, it, it's or Augustana, who is a, happens to be a heck of a Division three program. Um, it's about us doing our job every day. The last time out, we didn't do our job very well. And uh, uh, Wake Forest is good. They're an NCAA tournament team for a reason. They've got a lot of veterans back. They're extremely well coached. Um, and, and we're going to have to be prepared, and we're going to have to play our best. And, and uh, we didn't do that last time out. So, you know, we don't talk too much about, uh, about, about who we're playing as much as uh, – uh, Make it a bigger deal about it than, than than who it is. We've got to go do our job every night. Well, Brad, Mark uh, again. How, how how far do you and Danny go back? Uh, he kicked my butt a whole bunch on the basketball court back in back in the eighties. And um, you know, I've said this many times. Danny was one of the the best players that I've ever played against. Um, you know, collegiately, and of course, you know the the eighty eight championship game. I graduated in '86. Danny was a, a little bit younger than I, but uh, uh, you know. And then we had tremendous, tremendous relationships with their staff uh, when he was at Kansas and, and we were at Kansas State, and and uh, tremendous respect for the job that they did there. And, and then uh, uh, you know, Danny and I were in the same regional uh, when he was at Tulsa and I was at uh, at Stephen F. And we sat in the locker room one night and. And, and visited, and, and so we go way back, and I've got a lot of respect for the job he's done throughout his career, not just as a player, but as a as a coach. Brad, it's uh, Jeremy Warner. Uh, just Michael Finke defensively, um, what has he given you, and what is his test uh, against Wake and Darrell Moore? Well, we're not going to guard Darrell Moore just just with uh, just right. with one guy. He's uh, He's an imposing figure. Uh, Michael's been very, very good. Uh, you know, he's he's not that guy that goes out and, and blocks a ton of shots, but he's that guy that that can protect the rim with taking charges. With uh, uh, he's got great anticipation on help side. Uh, he's a guy that is um, is, is cerebral in the way he plays. And uh, you know, Darrell Moore gives you gives them great length and and a, and a physical presence. Uh, at the rim, and, and uh, like I said, it's not just going to be uh, left up to Michael to handle that. You know, we're, we're, we'll have to give some support in some other places. But uh, uh, Michael's been great in ball screen coverages. Uh, he's been great at uh, staying out of foul trouble. Knock on wood. Uh, so we need uh, we need his presence. There's no question. He's he he's kind of a, a vocal point for us as well. Anything else for coach? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.